Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Rebzev here, just uh, roaming around this crazy world, trying to spread some goodness and light and love. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm hoping that everyone is having the answer of yes to all their needs and even some of their wants. I hope their wants are holy and for good purposes. Had a few thoughts rattling around inside today. Thanks to Hashem, I have thoughts that come to me and I can express them. I'm so grateful to Hashem for that. I think about uh, the word practice in English. You know, uh, people will tell you about the religion that they hold. And sometimes they'll say, I practice Judaism. I practice whatever and you know we don't think about it too much but I think that's the best way to say it to say I, I practice orthodoxy I practice whatever because the truth is we're always growing and becoming I mean really that's how it's supposed to be uh, I think I'm sure that perfection that we're all being shoved down our throat this idea that in order to be the perfect person we have to look a certain way we have to drive a certain vehicle we have to um, we have to have this many um, sets of dishes in our house we have to have uh, things tied in a certain way we have to have this many children we have to drive a certain type of car, wear certain types of clothing. And these are these things that I'm sharing with you. They're kind of universal. There are things that come in the culture of of being observant, if you will, uh, practicing Judaism. And there are things that I've talked about that are universal, like living in America, living in a in a more modern uh, culture, a more Western, culture you know having certain cars and being able to shop at certain places and and you know standards of living and things like this and uh, you know the perfection in this life is a myth it's a it's I don't know how we came up with it I'm sure it had to do with TV and movies and and sports stars and all the things that that I grew up with, you know, a very secular way of looking at things. Uh, you know, here's a, here's the ideal before us, and this is what we have to strive for. The person on the billboard, or in the magazine, or in the movie, or on the playing field, and then, you know, this is what shapes our reality, and it's false, and yet we're still very trapped by it. And we have all these expectations built around it. And all we can do is keep practicing being who we are. Because learning who we are, learning who we are and who we're really supposed to be before Hashem is our only mission. And from that mission, we hopefully help others to see who they are and become who they're supposed to be with Hashem. That's all it's about. And you know, this this idea of perfection, this idea of having all these expectations is so damaging. That's why we're all going crazy, including myself, you know, trying to do this and I want to do this and I want to do this this way. and it, and it has to be this way, and I have to, uh, you know, keep kashrut this way, and I, 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 I want to learn to pray this way. And really, we're driving ourselves crazy. I'm driving myself crazy. I'm, tr I'm trying not to. Really, when I'm sharing things with you, I'm sharing things that come from my heart, and I'm also sharing my own struggles, because if for no other reason... I want to help you not do it 
and I'm going to remind myself not to do it. So relax, take a deep breath. And I was inspired by it today because we went to play um, putt putt golf, uh, miniature golf today, and we're just practicing. You know, we're just having fun. My son, we would we would start, and you know, of course, we take turns. And my son eventually he would go, and he would just start hitting the ball on the different on the different courses on the different holes. Like we'd be on one hole, and he'd go to the next one, and I and he'd start hitting, and I'd say, "Are you are you counting your score?" And he'd say, "No, I'm just practicing." But before it's over, we're eventually saying, "You know what? We're going to count that score if we want to." And we're laughing and we're having a good time. And it was actually very uh, cold. <laughs> we were outside and it was a beautiful day, but it was very cold. So uh, it was really wonderful to practice. And that's what I want to say too. If you're practicing something, if it's prayer, whatever it is, please try to enjoy. Take a deep breath and have a good time. Bye-bye.